Okay, how's everybody doing? We're going to do a quick tutorial on creating um, or removing material from a three-dimensional object. So in this example, figure six, we're, we're uh, creating holes. we got to drill two holes through this figure, so we're going to be removing material. So similar to a normal extrude, but we're going to be um, removing material. Um, I'm going to sketch here from the right view. Uh, first, we need to make sure it's metric. And I've already set the symmetric, but you're going to go to workplace units, make sure it's at the millimeter. Okay, so from this right view, we're going to go ahead and from this right plane, we're going to sketch on the plane, bring it forward with the N key, remove planes with the P key. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw this figure here. No dimensions, just going to roughly lay out the figure here. Okay. And this is going to be here. I'm going to come this way, come down to here, okay. Okay, um, to mention this, I'm going to, um, I'm going to be using constraints as well so you guys know how to use constraints, but I'm going to start here with this 44 is the height here, this is 12, and that's 12 there. So I'm going to say from this edge to this edge is 44 millimeters. I'm going to say this edge here is 12 millimeters. Okay, I'm going to use the equal to constraint. So equal to, so that means this edge and this edge I want equal to. That way now they're both 12. Okay, another way I can do it. So this is going to be 50. And I want this to be 50 as well. So I'm going to use the equal again. So click this and then this. Now they're both equal to 50. Okay. 20, 50, 90. This is the dimension. So this is 20. And add this equal to. So this and this need to be equal as well. So they're both 20. And then from this point, er, no, got the wrong thing selected. I'm going to declare the point. This point to this point here needs to be 90. Okay, we're fully constrained. Okay, and the sketch, we're going to extrude. Okay, we're extruding sketch one. Say, go out this way. 166 is my width right here. 66. Okay. And bring this back to isometric so you can see. There we go. All right. Now we got to put some holes in the top. So we can actually sketch on surfaces as well as planes. So by clicking on the surface, well, it's like if I hit sketch, I'm actually sketching on that surface. End key to bring it forward. So it's normal to uh, construction lines. So you can create construction lines just to make things easier to help um, construct your figure. So I'm taking these two midpoints, I'm drawing a line on it, and then I'm going to select that line and right-clicking and I'm say construction. So now this is uh, something I can snap to, kind of looks like a center line right now, but it's something we can snap to, it makes it easier to construct things. So now when I'm drawing these circles, I can actually snap to this construction line that I've created. Okay. And we need a dimension 24 as the diameter. 24. Okay. Uh, they need to both be equal to here, here, equal to. And now we need a dimension that they are 35 and 96. Okay. So from this edge here, center is 35. And then center to center is 96. Okay, fully constrained. Check, done. We're going to extrude now. We're extruding sketch two. So instead of, you know, we're all going to go down with it. So instead of building a figure, we're going to click the remove. So we're actually removing surface. Uh, how far do we want to remove? We want to just, instead of put in dimension in, instead of blind, we're going to set this to through all, so it's just going to go infinitely cutting through everything in its way. And that is it. All 